To begin, I just added a video to my timeline. In order to freeze a timer, we need to be able to manipulate it independently of our video. So in my project panel, I'm going to right-click and select New Item, Transparent Video. The defaults work fine, so just hit OK. Then drag your transparent video on a track above your clip. Drag the edge of your transparent video to match the length of your clip. Now let's head over to the Effects panel and type time code in the search box. Then drag it onto your transparent video on your timeline. Next, I'm going to head up to the Effect Controls panel and change a couple things with my timer. I'm not going to go into detail on these timer properties for this video, but if you'd like to learn more about timers, check out my video and description on how to add timers and Premiere Pro. Now that we have our timer, right-click on your transparent video and select Nest. Once the nesting is done, you won't be able to change your timer anymore since it will be baked into your transparent video. So make sure you have your timer set up how you want it before you do this, or just undo the change before continuing. Now you can add frame holds just as you would with any other clip by positioning your time head where you want the clip to freeze. Right-clicking and selecting Add Frame Hold. And now when I play this back, we have a timer that freezes when we want it to. Okay. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.